Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in, is note-taking important for dyslexics in the workplace? My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note-taking technique. I've been helping people manage information and knowledge for the past 20 years. So that question, is note-taking important for dyslexics in the workplace? In my opinion, it's crucial. I'm actually dyslexic myself. I didn't know that for many years. In fact, I wasn't diagnosed until my late forties. So I went through the entirety of my education and I was about to say the majority of my work, but I'm still, still very young. So I've still got a lot to go actually. And I'm an entrepreneur, so I don't want to stop anyway. Um, without actually knowing that I'm dyslexic, so is note-taking important for me in the workplace as a dyslexic? Crucial. Um, for many reasons. One is short, well, actually, is whether I'm dyslexic or not, if I rely on listening, which is the alternative, I am immediately restricted by the, by the way the human brain is designed. So we can only, the human brain can only remember a certain amount of information at a moment in time, they think it's seven plus or minus two chunks. So think of action points, you know, after an hour's meeting, how many action points can you easily remember? But the thing for myself as a dyslexic, and I've talked to other dyslexics and it's quite, seems to be similar, is our short-term memory is shocking. And I forget things really easily. So sitting and listening for me is not an option. I need to record information. But then if I'm in the workplace and you know I'm dyslexic, you're gonna give me a laptop because that's gonna help me record it and I can read it because again, for a lot of us dyslexics, our handwriting is shocking. But by giving me that laptop, you've actually just de-skilled me. And you're thinking, what? Nice piece of technology? What do you mean de-skilled? Because whether I use a laptop or I do traditional note-taking, in effect, I'm doing the same thing. I'm recording information from now to be used at a later point. It's a 2000 year old technique developed pre-Roman times. You listen to something important, you record it verbatim or part verbatim and you use it at a later point. That does not help me as a dyslexic because quite often when I'm listening to information, if it's conceptual, uh, theoretical, or there's a lot of terminology, it literally, it scrambles my brain. So I'll be sitting there with a laptop, not really sure what's going on, recording the information, to try and figure it out later on. But in a workplace, everything is real time. I can't wait till later on. So what I did, um, I needed to solve the problem for myself. So I thought, okay, well, I need to develop a technique, which is a recording technique, which enables me to get a really high level of real time understanding. And as it turned out, it was really simple to do. It just took me 20 years to perfect it. But I'm gonna share with you some of the secrets now. And the, some of the secrets is uh, what I call deep filtering. So getting rid of a lot of the unnecessary information, um, deep processing, so manipulating or processing the information, and then a dynamic structuring, creating my own um, sort of headings and subheadings and a dynamic overview. So that nirvana of being able to get one hour's information on one piece of paper or one tablet. And this is how it works. So we've got the information here. Um, need to find one good technique to help us increase our understanding and help us improve our confidence. So if I was listening to that, I'd record either verbatim or part verbatim a lot of this information. But first of all, with next generation note-taking, I do a deep filter. So literally I get rid of all the information that is not crucial. And then what I do is deep processing. So I take that information, break it into single units and then reconnect it together again. And that is the secret. That is what actually increases my real time understanding and it forces me to understand things. So that scrambling literally stops. It's incredible. The word soup stops. It's amazing. Sorry, I'll squeak that. I'll go back to my deep voice now. Um, anyway, so here we go again. We go find one good 
uh, technique. I abbreviate because it just makes it faster for me. And also my spelling's atrocious, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, increase understanding. So I just go use standing. Oh, I know what I mean. Um, improve confidence. So again, I'll abbreviate improve confidence. Now, the reason this is transformational for me is because the first thing is I've got to read a lot of the information. Um, the next thing, the breaking it up and reconnecting it enables me to understand it at a much deeper level. But more importantly is I've got what I call glance access. So suddenly I'm not recording something now for later, I'm recording it to understand now and use now. Because I can read that at a glance, whereas I can't read that as a glance. That transforms everything because then I can go into a one hour presentation, I can use next generation note taking and literally as I walk out I know that I've understood everything there because I have glance access. I'm probably the only person who can do that. Similarly like a one hour meeting, more often than not a one hour meeting, I'll get on three quarters of a sheet, this is my plan, this is the meeting itself. Um, and it's incredibly powerful. If I was taking longhand notes, I'd probably do a page or two pages. But with this, three quarters of a page, no loss of detail, no loss of quality. Now, the most amazing thing is, um, I'll use a different color here, is this has been scientifically tested. And for non-dyslexics, real-time understanding, it's about 64%, complex meeting, complex presentation. Using next generation note-taking, Real-time understanding for um, all of us, including dyslexics, suddenly goes up to 76%, 12% increase. After a year, it goes even further to 84%, so a 20% increase in real-time understanding. But the really cute thing is, if you're dyslexic, like me and many other people, the understanding goes even further, 87%. That, for those of us who are dyslexic, is a game changer because that suddenly means that our real-time understanding in complex meetings and presentations or interviews or coaching sessions or when doing any reading is 23% above that that non-dyslexics can achieve. It changes everything. So how do I feel when I'm doing this next generation note-taking technique where, as I say, the secret is the deep filtering, the deep processing, doing dynamic structuring, so where you see an and, you have a break and these logically fit on the, the heading. How do I feel? It's incredible. I'm empowered. It's changed my life, quite literally. I got a master's degree. There's no way I'd have got a master's degree without doing this. Um, and I'm able to go into a CEO, any company in the world. I don't need to know what their issue is, but I can help them think through their issues because I know I can manage one hour, two hours worth of knowledge better than most people that I come across. It's really easy to do because I use this. So the re reason I made this video is that if you are dyslexic, then please consider you know, moving to that next generation note taking, next generation thinking around how to manage knowledge. If you are interested in helping dyslexics in education, at school or a university or in the workplace or at a government level, if you have a passion for helping us, then please, please share this worldwide. What we're talking about is a 23% real-time understanding above that that non-dyslexics can achieve. That literally transforms our lives, quite literally. I feel tingly all talking about it, but I mean, I'm not joking here. It makes a difference between night and day. So if you've liked this video, please press like. Obviously, feel free to comment and please do share widely, worldwide. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. And of course, on the left and the right, at the top and down the bottom, um, you'll find a link where I've put some, uh, some more tips for you on how to manage, manage information effectively. Thank you.